Alright, I am back. From last lesson, we learned about four integral data types in Java. What about showing floating point numbers or real numbers? For that, we have two data types in Java. Float and double. The type float is for single precision values that uses 32 bits of storage. Variables of type float is useful when you need a fractional component, but don't require a large degree of precision. For example, float can be useful when representing dollars and cents. And, don't forget, we normally include f to the end of the float value. Let's go back to Eclipse. This is the code we used for our previous lesson. I am going to declare a float variable and assign values for that. Let's type float cost then equal sign to see the result let's just type 54.85 there you can see this red underline our intelligent eclipse has found some error let us include f to the end very good the error warning has disappeared the next keyword to use as a data type for floating point numbers is double this is a double precision, as denoted by the double keyword, and this data type uses 64 bits to store a value. When you need to maintain accuracy over many iterative calculations, or are manipulating large value numbers, double is the best choice. This data type is generally used as the default data type for decimal values. Generally, double is the default choice. Let's declare a double variable here. Double height equals 75.36. Always remember to end with a semicolon. Here, we don't have any errors. For double, you don't have to type any letter at the end. To show these variables as output, let us copy one of these statements and paste them two times like this. I am changing this as float. Then, change this as double. Alright, this is the time to run the project and see the result. Awesome, as we expected. Alright, so, I believe, now you have a very good knowledge about floating point data types of Java. After learning all fundamentals during the last lessons of this course, we will develop some Java apps. From them, you will be able to experience more about these data types.